Alright lover, this video is all right, lover, this video is for you. I am gonna take you hiking from the watchtower all the way back down to the car. So here we go. Let's do this. Walk, 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 all day long. Don't fall on the rocks or you'll be gone. Woo, we scary stuff. Yep, this is all like a wooden path thing here. It's pretty rad. I got this down here, which is down towards where the uh path is. That's kind of a cool looking rock over there on the other side. Well, mountain, I guess. Boulder mountain. And then right here, you can see the rocks, rocks have a little gap in it. Fancy snazzy. And you see the trail way down there in the distance. So this is just absolutely amazing. I could never have asked for something this unbelievable. And I just want you to know that I love you very much. And so, you gave this to me. You made this possible for me. I love you very much. The stairs. All right, you ready to get So we are a full, crazy, crazy view. It's amazing. Yes. In fact, I'm not getting a panoramic picture just so I don't have to be here again to have to do it. So here we go. Walking down some more stairs. Don't tumble and roll down these guys. Oh my goodness. Let me switch hands. There we go. I don't feel quite like I'm gonna fall now. These things are steep, steep, steep stairs. Put my sunglasses on. Yep, see, through the stairs, that's it. It's wide open up there, but right there. Now we're all rock. So now we're we're safe and not towering over top of the planet. I mean, we kind of are, but, you know, not higher than everything else. So, yay! I gotta get my water straightened out in my pocket or else I'm gonna lose a bottle. Here we go. <coughs> now these were no fun to climb up. I stopped three times just on the stairs. <clears throat> because, oh my god. These aren't like stairs in your house, they're steeper. <sighs> walk, walk, walk. Pieces of steps missing, steps cracked, which is terrifying. But hey, if you're not taking chances, you're not doing the cool stuff. That's what it's all about, taking the chances. You either live or you exist. <sighs> Notice the visitors of this tower is maintained for discovery of forest fires. You may climb if you wish, but the Forest Service the United States Department of Agriculture cannot assume any liability for accidents for your own safety. Not more than five persons should be on the tower at any one time. I was by myself. Yay, we have mountain lion stuff. Um, they're around. So that's kind of cool. Hear that rock. I'll do it for you. That's all I got. Okay, so, and then, this is basically, like, about something. Helen Dow and uh, Devil's Head. I guess how it came about. Took a picture so we could read it. This here, I think, is the Watchtower Guy's cabin, which is pretty badass. There's no... Well, we have a trail going out that way. There's all of our rules, like, be nice to others, share, be kind, don't be hateful. Bears live around here, so just watch out for those guys, of course. And here we go for a walk, which I'm not really sure how it's uphill, because I walked uphill all the way here. So, shit. <clears throat> walk, 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 walk. Fun times, good times, walking times. 
like baby lime at the top of the fire tower. That's a story you can make. <clears throat> and someone actually lives there because they got clothes out on the thing, which is pretty awesome. <coughs> How is this uphill? Alright, let's see at the top of this hill. From there on out, it is all downhill. So I'm gonna do, I wonder, yeah, that's, that's a good picture. So we go sideways. Here we go. Walking down. so you can see the trail where we're coming from <clears throat> it's down the hill we got like all these switchbacks here which what they do switchback is just where basically your trail goes up the mountain goes up the mountain goes up the mountain goes up the mountain each one of those turns are switchbacks so they have signs in here. It says, don't cut across the switchbacks. Which, I mean, if you're 12, you're gonna do it anyway. But if you're walking up here for exercise, switchbacks are useless. And if you're walking up here for the experience to say, I hike Devil's Head. Uh, yeah, well you didn't have to use the switchbacks because there's a trail. <coughs> so, <clears throat> Down the trail I go. It's all the way over here. And then switch back all the way around to here. And we walk like crazy. Now here you see a little trail where people want to walk down and not actually use the trail. See it? Yep, that's the trail. That's cutting through the switchback. Which actually the trail comes up this way. Over here. <clears throat> and then we have <coughs> my mom. Just a big old rock sitting there doing nothing for nobody. Although, it's probably holding something. Just don't realize it. And here's my dad making fun of everybody as they walk past, can't breathe. Yeah, you too, buddy. And so we're walking. Walk, 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 all day long. There was an EF1 tornado went through here like two years ago. And so there's a lot of downed trees. But it actually tore up the gulch right where you start to climb up, which was really cool. There's just trees strewn all over the place. Looks like God stuck his finger down in the forest and just twirled it like tea. He was mixing the sugar in. So right here, we're pretty much at the top. I feel like I could jump higher. <clears throat> so if we continue straight on down that path, then we have Zin Lookout. We'll look out that direction some other time. We have a sunset to catch. <clears throat> so this is this is where it all starts getting kind of really cool. I mean, it's awesome to stand up there and see a hundred miles away, but when you're walking through this, you just kind of look around. And you see just all the forest. Like, look at that rock. <clears throat> Why in the world? is a boulder formed over top of another boulder. I mean, it doesn't look like they were together ever. It just kind of looks like one kind of formed on top. It's crazy. So that's cool. <clears throat> and these guys up here, we just hope they don't fall on us while we're walking down the trail. Big old rocks. <clears throat> another trail going down. Cut through this switchback up here. 
And then they have all these things here. I don't know what these are or what they're for. I guess it used to have something on there, but it's all been peeled off and gone now. Awful people. And so we continue to walk. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, 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 walk. I'm probably cut through the switch back there. Big old boulder. A booby -der. So we're walking. We're standing on rock. Which sounds cool. It's not like standing on rocks. all kinds of cool stuff like that rock up there it's a neat little boulder some trees down yep mm-hmm a lot of them look cut not all of them I think where they look cut is because they were blocking the path so they had to cut them and clear the path and then you just walk Tons of pretties down here. It's amazing. Grab me a word. Switch back. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> I need a GoPro for this stuff. Wear my little hat with my camera on it. I don't, I don't have one, but that's what I'm saying. I need one. But it's not really a need. Just be cool to have. It's a cool looking rock. We're gonna, gonna hang out on this rock for just a minute. Hi! Hold on. Just getting a drink of my water. Because it's important. I have to stay hydrated. I've already drank a bottle. Well. Take that back. I didn't drink a whole bottle. <clears throat> Actually, um, I probably drank about two thirds of it, another third of it. I just basically kind of like got my mouth wet with and spit it back out. My lungs were on fire trying to make it up this thing. But uh, <clears throat> I'm a coming down. Here we go. Wee! Yeah, some of this path is kind of treacherous. As in, like, it's hard to walk up or down because it's steep. And then, let's see. Don't cut switchbacks. So, but not because it's steep, but because it's, uh, or, well, yeah, because it's steep, but not because you'll lose your footing. But your legs are so noodly at the point of climbing or descending, ascending or descending, that uh, <coughs> you get them noodle legs and you just kind of want to come out from under you while you're trying to baby step down the steep stuff. <clears throat> maybe, maybe I'll catch Sasquatch on my, my video. That'd be awesome. You'd never know because it's so shaky. But that's probably why you would catch them on there. <clears throat> Quick, get your worst camera out. I see Sasquatch. Just shaking all, all kinds of crap when you're shooting at it. So we can't tell that it's really Sasquatch shopping there in front of you. Oh my God, I'm scared and running. There's a Sasquatch in front of me. Yeah, see, that's how they do it. And you're like, oh my God, no, it's just a tree. 
It's a tree stump. See, look, just a tree stump, nothing scary. No Sasquatches here. So I think it is a mountain there is getting the getting the folks, that's cool. Yeah boy. That's amazing. Just to look out here. That's awesome. It's glorious. Absolutely glorious. I'm getting cold. But you can't walk up here in like a sweatshirt. Oh my god. I would have died. I did see a girl coming up here with crutches. Well, actually, she was coming back down. And her family was with her. She looked like just maybe 12, 13 years old on crutches. And I'm like, <gasps> <gasps> trying to make it up the hill. And uh, I looked at him. I said, I said, I pointed at the at the girl on the crutches. I said, I'm definitely not giving up now. <laughs> that little girl can do it on crutches by god i'm a grown man i'm gonna make it to the top i did too i made it all the way to the top every point of the top and then this looks like a rock i'm sure you're probably not supposed to climb them so i'm not gonna yeah well bam top of the rock that's gorgeous there's my trail down there so we come back on down off the rock and just, just trying to trying to show off that's all keep my feet straight don't crack break or sprain that on the way down I'm good to go oh look we have like little steps like they have in China on their mountains They make you pick your leg up over these damn railroad ties and trees that they nail to the ground. Why would you nail a perfectly good tree to the ground? You had to uproot that tree just to nail it down. It was already nailed down by God. <clears throat> nope. <clears throat> You know how people are. Oh, we can do it better. <laughs> I'll tell you something we could never do. Make a damn mountain. Because it is amazing. This is cool. I saw, I saw a chipmunk over here. I'm sure we can probably climb up on that rock right there if we wanted to. Probably not supposed to, but probably could. So it's to stay on the trail and not to go off the trail and stuff, I think. I don't remember. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Trees down. I saw a chipmunk right up over there. I'll show you where I saw him. I saw him! <clears throat> some of that tornado damage just a little bit I imagine this is just where the trees were thrown to didn't actually hit here but threw some trees over here oh look at that rock way up there just kind of hanging out no literally <clears throat> it's like Matthew McConaughey What's going on, buddy? Too much. See, up right there is where I saw the chipmunk. I think it was awesome. He's like, he'd run across right over there, climbed up here, and then he'd come over up to there, and then he'd come over to here, and then he'd come over into this little rock when I finally found him. I was trying to take a picture, and he bolted up off into the dark hole. He's trying to get a picture of the guy. But this is cool. Let's see if you look right here. You got a tree coming out in between the rocks. You know why? Because life matters. <clears throat> rocks are made to be moved. 
So this here, okay, so <clears throat> if you didn't know, this is actually a type of quartz. It's a pink quartz, and uh, it is what all of Pikes Peak is made of. Yeah, whole mountain, pink quartz. Yeah, it's got dirt on it and stuff, but it's just all this stuff, just pink quartz. That's it, that is pink quartz. Right there, you can see, it, really it's orange, but it looks kind of pink. I guess with all the green and black on it. It's kind of a Georgia clay orange, but it gives kind of a pink color with all the other colors on it. That's kind of cool. And so here we have a standing stone. A couple of them. It's this one here. Pretty rad. I don't know if there's anything down under there. We can always zoom in and look at it, can't we? Watch this. There we go. Right, zoom time. Eh, nothing there. It's just kind of, kind of got lost for a second. Hmm. Just all kinds of pieces. Young Aspens, older Aspens. Whoo, super lightheaded for a second. I stood up way too fast there. All right, so now I'm good. Okay, so this rock is pretty rad. This guy, another standing stone, just kind of all by itself, sitting there doing its own thing. No one's bothering it, it's not bothering nobody. Except for it's in the middle of the damn path. So, oh well. As we come out here, doop, doop, doop. took a break at these tables. Of course, trust me, I sat on a few rocks too. And here is where, actually, this is a really cool view. Watch this. So you just look out over here and you see all that stuff. I mean, look at that. Pretty good, how about yourself? Doing well. All right, so here we go, some more quartz. More everything, trees. Little bit of baby spins, ding a ling a ling. All right, because you got a wiggle one. And rocks with crevices, they're always fun because critters like to be in them. It's always fun to find critters. In their own little, their own little area. <clears throat> See, there's a little cut through. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm gonna show you this trail. This is awful. It's a uh, metal, metal grates jammed down into the rock. <laughs> or actually, I think this might be concrete, but mixed with uh, the mountain rock. They just busted up some quartz with the concrete, or mixed it in with the concrete. <laughs> Like right there where they busted it off. Yep, mm-hmm, you can tell. So, <laughs> I was ready to die by the time I got here. It's taken me 23 minutes to get down to here. I believe the halfway point is about another two or three minutes ahead. Now if I had a phone that could just project this whole video on the screen of the tent, that would be cool. But I got rid of that piece of crap. Because that was another 300 bucks for that little feature. <clears throat> so here you see the aspens, you can kind of hear them. Yeah, we'll see if you heard it or not. I hope you heard it. Because <coughs> that would be cool. I don't know 
if that does. Maybe it takes pictures, we'll see. Oh, that looks cool. All right, there. Don't want to fall. Walka, walka, walka. Walka, walka, walka. And then, that's a big old rock. With the tree growing on top of it. I'm telling you, life matters. That's just for you, Faith. Life matters. Even yours. Even though you don't think so, I think it does. This is the most important life to me. Because without it, my life would be a mess. And I know you think it is, but trust me. <coughs> I can do a lot worse than homeless. <coughs> and we're getting on top of that, so. You see? You just be by myself. I just say screw it and live in a tent for the rest of my life. I'm tired of the crap. The bills, the endless, constant, never ending bills. Find somewhere, to work hard enough to get me a piece of land, camp on it. And that's it. And you're not supposed to go this way. It's the way I went the first time because I thought that was where the trail was. So here's the halfway point. We're four minutes, not two or three. So, here's your halfway point. Yay, halfway point. And then, there's all these rocks. Just that pink quartz everywhere. <gasps> Chipmunk. Hey, Mr. Chipmunk. He's just enjoying his little chipmunkery. Eating his food and whatnot. Little old guy. <laughs> He's like, I'm eating my stuff. You just stay over there on your trail. I'm gonna stay up here on my bike. Never mind, I won't. You're scaring me. So. <sighs> now, this is just a whole big series of switchbacks coming down the mountain. Pain in the butt to navigate. <laughs> My legs are getting noodlier. Like noodle legs. <laughs> See what goes the trail down there. I'm just walking along. It's gonna be shy. I'm gonna make you dizzy as hell. Just watching this video. It's so shaky and blah, 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 all over the place. Fox hole, right? Nah, who knows? More quartz, middle of the trail, well, kind of edge of the trail. It's a little switch back here. <clears throat> and it comes up there and it goes on down that way. It's kind of a switch back. Now we can cut it through here, but what's the point? 
why do it if you're not going to do it all the way? Let's do the steps. I like steps. be a short little video. It'll be like 40 minutes and probably 10 minutes from you. Probably 15, but who knows? <clears throat> I'll tell you, the second half seemed a lot longer than the first. Only the first half, I stopped twice. The people that I was <clears throat> right there with when, when we came in, we're talking, and like they were talking. Every now and then I'd throw in a little piece of helpful fact or something. They're like, oh, I hear there's stairs at the top. I was like, 143 of them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they just uh, kept on keeping on. By the time I made it to the stairs, they were coming down the stairs. <laughs> I took several breaks though. But that was absolutely amazing up there. <laughs> Couldn't live up there. Just use a helicopter to drop me in some food and supplies. And twice a year, I'm good. <clears throat> like I would love to live somewhere where I can have a bonfire every day if we wanted to like we could live kind of more in a woodsy area would be great except for here it's probably more expensive to live in a woodsy area because Georgia it's cheaper but if we could find a nice little nice little joint in a woodsy area bonfires cookouts cook food on the bonfire you ever had canned food from a bonfire? Oh my god, it's unbelievable. Some of the best food you'll have ever. I think I'm not really too far from, from being done, actually. To be honest. I made it up this far without even taking a break.